Hey guys, I'm Julia from This Model Eats A Lot. And I'm Angie. And we're here at JD's in Mont Albert. Now there's been an explosion of uh, burger joints around Melbourne over the last few years. It's sort of hard to tell between the good and the imposters, but JD is definitely um, a place to check out. They've won Best Burgers in Melbourne three Whoa. years running. The owner, Daniel, has a little surprise for us. He's gonna be giving us a burger to try out that hasn't seen the menu yet. Um, it's not even on the specials board, so. Uh, wow. This is like a world exclusive right now. So that's why you should subscribe to us, because then you'll be in the know about the latest dishes at your favorite places. So you're looking at Melbourne's best fries, voted by the, the public. Age, yeah. the public. I can't wait to try this. We have four different dips available. We have sweet chili, herb mayo, special sauce, and an, a curry sauce. Which one are you gonna go for first? I'm gonna go for the curry sauce. First. Really? Yeah, surprise, surprise. Gonna go hard, go home? Okay, I'm gonna go the signature one. You can see why they're rated some of the best fries in Melbourne. They're I mean, they're crunchy on the outside, really soft and sort of fluffy on the and inside. And they're seasoned really well. It's not just overpowered with chicken salt or, or normal salt as you would normal chips. I feel like you almost don't need the sauces. You can just eat the chips by themselves. They're that good. I mean, but the, that curry sauce is good. Oh, I've got to try it. Hold on. Oh, wow. It's different, really, eh? Do you know what it tastes like? My mum makes like an egg curry. It tastes like that the creamy egg yeah, curry. The yeah, creamy egg curry. It tastes like the masala yeah. from the egg curry, which is really weird when you pair it with something like chips, but strangely it works. Yeah. Like normally you pay extra for herb mayo, but it just tastes like mayo with a bit of green in there. This actually tastes like herbs. It's something you want in a herb mayo everywhere. There's a lot of herbs in there. I would put this on everything. That's how good <laughs> it is. So um, the owner Daniel has just given us this burger. It's so new that he hasn't even named it yet. No He's one's seen it. He's just told us what's in there. Julia, I'm gonna salivate too much. Can you please explain what's inside <laughs> I'll do this? the honors. So basically, it's a double patty of hash browns stuffed with bacon and cheese, and extra bacon and cheese on top. So, this looks massive. I think we're gonna have to cut it in half. What I'm really looking forward to is the bacon and cheese inside the potato patties. It's like food inception. It's like bacon-ception. Bacon-ception. <laughs> But, oh, look at that. Oh, that fried potato cake. And you know what? You can actually see the layers. inside the layers. So you've got your cheese, your potato cake. Inside, you've got your cheese, which borders it. And then right in the middle, Some, you've got your, your, your minced bacon. Minced bacon. You, know, you taste the bacon, yes, and you taste the cheese, but I feel like that dominating flavor really is that potato. That, that potato cake, the golden brown potato cake. It's not something you'd have every day, but if you want to splurge, yes. Go for it. <laughs> so what have you ordered, Amy? I've got the Red Dragon uh, burger, which is it's Asian fusion, obviously, as JD's burgers Duh. are. But yeah, it, it's it's got the Asian flavors in the beef patty. It's got a it's got a hot Red Dragon sauce, as they call it, which is an eight out of ten on the eight menu. out of ten. Oh, I don't know. So I'm being quite adventurous uh, today. Go for it. Yeah, go for <laughs> go it. Go big we're or here, go home. Yeah, we're trying it out. Didn't do the big challenge I wanted to do, so I'm challenging. Boo -hoo, Amy, have I'm going to I'm going to be challenging my taste buds with the chili. So I'm really excited by my burger. I think it's really unique because it's chicken breast, but it's Japanese inspired. So it has Japanese curry in it with potato and carrot. Ooh, how pretty does that look? Oh, this is really, really red. And oh, when that's red. chili sauce that's is red. really red, you know it's gonna burn. <laughs> I don't know what kind of chilies they've used. Well, they've coupled them with jalapenos, so. I'm gonna have fun tonight. <laughs> that can be your eating challenge for today, Angie. I think it is gonna be. Finish the whole thing. Eight out of 10 mm. is a lot. Japanese curry burger, here I come. This is lovely. This is actually really good. Mm. It's spoke too soon. I was just about to say it's not as hot as I thought it was, and then bam. Well, I'm loving my burger. I mean, it's got that beautiful, gentle curry of Japan. It's not as strong as an Indian curry. It's more of, you know, an Asian. Like a um, satay almost. Like, like a satay. So this packs a lot of heat. This uh, I'm not gonna lie. But what I'm glad mm. what I'm glad about is that it's got some of the mayonnaise and it's sort of cut that down a little bit. Otherwise it it'd be a bit much for me. But you know what? Flavours in there are spot on. You know, I'm really happy I chose this. Oh. Do you know what I love about this? It's got cheese in it, so that adds a whole new dimension. Oops, I'm falling apart. Got different elements in there. You've got the freshness of the salad, you've got the acidity from the tomato, and then you've got the creaminess of the cheese, which really kind of brings it all together. I might actually just 
I think you're really going to like this. Swapsies. Oh, yeah. All right, go. This the curry chicken burger, it's yeah, definitely different. Mm. I've never seen anything like this um, at any burger place. Normally, you just get a bit of curry sauce smeared on the mm. bun. But this is literally like a curry in a burger. Another thing that you don't get in a lot of chicken burgers is cheese, and I don't understand why. Apparently, when there's chicken, there's no cheese, but not here at JD's. Is it really hot? I'm scared. No, it's, it's actually not. Now, if I could deal with it, I think yeah. it'd be fine. Yeah, I think. Oh, that looks so pretty. How pretty is that? How good is that I'm gonna frame it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that char looks amazing. This is hot, but not that hot. <coughs> I'm coughing, though. It still means that it's hot. Yeah, there's a, there's a bit of heat there, but you know what? <coughs> and that's what I said when I when I tried. I'm glad it didn't burn my tongue. Yeah. That's what I was expecting when I saw eight, and I'm I'm very glad that's not the case. And that's the thing. I think a lot of um, I think a lot of places fall into the trap of trying to make something so overpoweringly hot. All the other elements get lost. So I think JD's has done a really good job of artfully balancing the heat from the chili with the char, char grillness of the um, hamburger patty. You've got the creaminess of the cheese and the freshness of the salad. It's all just like, it's like down to a science. Yeah, you can see why they've been consistently voted in the top four burgers in Melbourne. Um, and there, there's a lot of strong competition out there. There are a lot of great burger places around, but this well and truly deserves its place on the mantelpiece. Well, that was a lot of burger. <laughs> How are you uh, feeling? I'm feeling less than ideal, but in a good way. Yeah, it's uh, something that I really have to make a point is that these burgers are not heavy. They're actually, they look scarier than they are, but the abundance of amazing ingredients and top flavors makes it kind of easy on the stomach, actually. Yeah, definitely, but I think we just went overboard eating like three different burgers plus all those chips. Definitely come down to JD's, uh, check out their menu. They've got, you know, different stuff because it is Asian inspired uh, burgers, which you don't really get much of in Melbourne. Um, they balance their flavour as well and it's, it's a great uh, place to try something new. But if you're more into dessert, don't forget to check out our episode 4 of Red Velvet Pancakes, Chocolate Waffles and Freak Shakes. Yum, oh, yum, wow. yum, yum, yum. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to us if you love us. And also you'll find the social media links on Angie's face. And in the description below. Have a great day and don't forget to eat a lot. See you guys. See ya.